How to prepare the perfect house party. If you're planning to host a party in your home, you're probably very aware that there is plenty of organizing to be done. We thought we'd share some of our experience of house parties, so here are our top tips to make yours a resounding success. Lighting and decoration will set the mood. Whatever you do, don't leave overhead lights on. The brightness will kill the atmosphere before the party has started. Equally, make it too dark and it will be impossible for your guests to socialize. Lighting plays such an important part in a party, so why not consider hiring some intelligent moving light units to wash your walls with color or create really funky effects? Think about creating theater within your home. Along with good lighting effects, some well-chosen decorations will establish the theme of your party and will go a long way towards transforming the room you're using into a great party space. Resist the temptation to hire props unless you go all out to hire the good stuff. Cheesy low-priced props will look unconvincing and won't impress your guests, so don't bother. Be clever about how you spend your budget. For example, if you're throwing a Hawaiian themed party, a good tiki bar unit will look so much better than a few plastic props. And don't forget that your guests can also contribute to the atmosphere. Ask them to dress to fit your theme and see the party come alive. Move furniture around. You may even need to remove some furniture to open up the party space. For instance, don't leave sofas and chairs near to dancing areas or speakers. It's not the right place for anyone wanting to chat, and you'd surely rather they were dancing to the music. Hire a DJ and book a photographer. A good DJ will know how to put together a playlist that will get your guests dancing all night long, and they'll be able to quickly adopt their playlists as they observe how your guests respond to particular tunes. Trust them to take a preferred style of music and play a fun set without deviating too far from your intended music policy. You and your guests will have some great memories of the party, but even better would be a photographic record of the event. Post shots are fine, but the photographer who can work virtually unnoticed to spot and photograph special moments as they happen will capture the true flavor of your party, and that's the one to hire. Serve bowl food. A formal meal would slow the pace of the party. A buffet can get messy and quickly look unattractive once people have dived in. Bowl food is the perfect way to satisfy appetites and is designed to enable guests to eat while standing and without making a mess. Worried about small portions? Why not upgrade and go for the substantial bowl food option? Stock up on drinks. It's always better to have some left over rather than running out halfway through the party. And sure, there is plenty of choice. Beers, wines, fizz, cocktails, spirits, and mixers, soft drinks to keep everyone happy. Plan a midnight snack. People will get peckish and a snack is always a great way of soaking up the alcohol. Small bacon sandwiches or cheese on toast tend to go down well. It's also a way of signaling that the party is coming to an end. Eating will actually make your guests feel tired and more likely to prepare to leave, which will make things easier for you. Set up a cloakroom. Turn one room into a cloakroom, complete with coat rack or rail and hangers, so that guests can leave their coats and bags while they enjoy their party. Prepare the bathroom. Make sure everything is spotlessly clean. Ensure there is a stock of loo roll, clean towels, and a mirror. A fragrant reed diffuser or something similar would be a nice touch, but don't forget to also discreetly place a spray air freshener by the loo. Greet your guests. There is nothing worse than going to a party where the host or hostess is too busy running around to receive their guests. Be ready with a big smile to welcome yours as they arrive. Ensure you spend quality time with them. It's your party after all. Warn the neighbors. Give your neighbors advance notice of the party. Apologize for any late noise and give them a gift of chocolates or wine as a way of thanking them for their understanding. With any luck, they'll plan to go out themselves that night. Perfect your guest list. You can't party all by yourself, so the first step on the road to an epic house party is to work on your guest list. 
You're obviously going to invite your mates, but to throw a house party, to remember whether home or away, you need to bring together people from every part of your life and just let the magic happen. People are obviously coming to see you, but they're also coming to meet interesting, fun, new people. So get your work friends together with your uni friends. Invite some awesome ex-roommate and that guy you met at the festival that time. As they say, the more the merrier. Just make sure you stipulate it's friends and friends of friends only. No one wants a house full of randoms. Lie about the start time. We've all been there. Your punctual friends rock up at exactly the time you ask them to, while your flacky maids stroll in after they've hit up three other parties and stay until the sun comes up. To ensure a steady flow of people at your party, you have to give them different start and end times. Tell your time-conscious friends to show up at 10pm and tell your friends who are prone to tardiness to show up at 8pm. This way, hopefully, most of your guests will be there at the same time. Pick a theme! Every epic party has a theme, the ritual of buying the costume drums up excitement and gets people ready to party, and the hilarious costumes your mates put on will provide endless conversation starters and really help bring the group together. It doesn't have to be corny stuff like toga parties or the super creative the 80s. You can have a hat party, a Rubik's Cube party, a 7 deadly sins party. The possibilities are endless and everyone will enjoy themselves that bit more. Just make sure you tell all your guests so no one ends up looking stupid. Make a party playlist! Of the utmost importance for a number of reasons. Firstly, no one wants to stay at a party when the music is bad and the atmosphere is worse. Make a super long playlist the night before and stick it on just as your first guests arrive. If you're feeling really creative, you can time the playlist so you have a few hours of chatting tunes, then some ragers to get everyone dancing, then a final hour or two of more relaxed music to round things off. Also, making a playlist minimizes the chances of any of our guests grabbing your iPod, putting their jam on, and taking over. Make introductions. So, you've got a house full of great people, and none of them are talking to each other. Shame on you! When hosting a party, it's your job to get people talking. The only thing they have in common is you, after all. Instigate dancing or games, play Cupid, hire a magician, whatever it takes to get your guests talking. That way, everyone making friends will be super easy. Lock doors. Really important if you have roommates as no one wants a stranger bursting into their room thinking it's the bathroom. Make sure you lock roommates doors and make sure you have a lock on your bathroom door. No party guest wants to walk in on another in the toilet. Plan your exit strategy. An exit strategy may sound like a tricky one when you're hosting the party, but when the sun starts to come up and there are friends of friends still on your couch in full party swing, you're gonna wish you had one. Try walking around the house brushing your teeth with your PJs on. Or if that doesn't work, just play the worst possible music imaginable. 90s pop or hardcore metal should do the trick.